Hey everybody, so I'm back. <laughs> Crazy. Um, this video actually is going to probably be a little random. Um, I finished this book about a week and a half ago, I believe. And I just, I believe it's such a great book. Now, it is part of a series, so you may have to read the entire series to understand some of it. But I think it was actually really good. Um, it's called Miles from Nowhere by Amy Clipston. If you have never heard of her, she is an amazing writer. Um, I have, I think, all of her books now. She is amazing. I've actually met her. She came to my house and had dinner with us. So I'm not just saying that because like she came to my house and had dinner with us, but I have always loved her writing. Now some of her writing is based on the Amish, where which is where I live. I started reading some of her books and started pit, like figuring out where different places were around where I live. And are you okay? Stop that. But it was really interesting when. I met her and found out where her, like, her inspiration came from. But this book, I don't, I believe doesn't come anywhere near to home of where I am, at least. And I think that's really, really cool. But I love her young adult books. And that's what this is. This is a series, I don't know if this series actually has a name. Let's see. doesn't have a name but um she is I have all my books signed by her which is amazing I have like 14 or 15 books and she signed every single one of them I felt bad for her because like her hand must have been extremely tired but this was a really good book I would not suggest reading it if you've just gone through a breakup because there is a breakup scene in here not to ruin the book for you or give you any spoilers um I guess it's not really a breakup, it's just like, it's a weird thing. Um, my dog's trying to get comfortable behind me. I'm waiting for him to settle down, but not a good idea to read after a breakup. I broke up with my boyfriend, and this was, um, like, really chaotic to read. But I loved it. It was amazing. It was a great book. I'm sad to see that this is, the series has ended. Um... But if you check this book out, definitely tell me how you feel about it because it can it seems like a roller coaster, but it's also pretty cool because I think a lot of teens go through this. And I don't know. Maybe I'm weird because I didn't really have a regular teen life. Um But yeah, this is this book it seems really it was really cool. But I wanted to suggest this because this is a really good book. I said that like five million times in this video. Um, for a while you could buy it as an ebook and it was really cheap. So if you can buy it still as an ebook and it'd be really cheap, go ahead and try it. Um, I would definitely suggest buying it in the paper copy. I love paper copy books. I just like the feel of books. Like being able to just sit there and read an actual book instead of like flipping through a tablet. Which I do that a lot, but try not to. My next book that I'm going to be reading soon, at least I'm going to start reading it probably tonight, is her newest book, which again is Amy Clipson. I'm just probably going to name this video an Amy Clipson video. But this is a new series, the Amish Heir Heirloom, sorry, Amish Heirloom Book One. Um, Yeah, so this is another Amish book, but like I said, like even though I live around the Amish, I don't have much, I usually stay away from these types of books, but I actually loved the way she wrote about these books, or wrote these books, and it started out with the Kaufman Bakery series, which is a f five, I want to say it's a five, but I believe it's a six book series. Um, I don't know why I'm trying to guess. I have the book list right here. 
yeah it's a five book okay it's a five book series and it's really good like I started out with that one now that one I believe you can pick it up anywhere I would suggest reading it from the beginning to the end of the series just because like you see characters going through it and then also if you're into young adult or you'd like to start out with young adult her one book called reckless heart actually plays a part into the series a little bit um reckless heart is part it there's just characters that are the same i guess i should say there's just characters that are the same i don't know if she meant to do it that way i never actually asked her i should probably ask her um th she has tons of books I think they all play a little part into each other, but I know the Kaufman Bakery series definitely, it's a series, they definitely play a part in everything, and for some reason I've always had the feeling that Reckless Heart is part of it just because like her name's Kaufman and she's also in the, she creates um, family trees of the families or of the characters, and Reckless Heart was part of the family tree, so I believe that they were part of the series even though she was a young adult series and then she did an adult series on it but this series I'm excited to read this is her newest book um, this was actually a gift from her when she came to visit me at my house I am ecstatic to read this I can't believe it's taking me this long actually to get started on reading this book it usually doesn't like as soon as I have an Amy Clipson book in my hands or um, a little glimpse of a book I instantly start reading it and I think I I just wanted to finish this book so bad and then I had to get back on my feet from this book because this book left me so torn for a little bit I was excited that they had a happy ending but because like I said I went through a breakup it was a little touchy for me and then this book also had a lot to do with faith and her Christianity and I guess I should mention that I'm a Christian and Amy Clifton talks a lot about Christianity or Amish Christianity Amish religion um the main character her name is Chelsea in this book she is a Christian her boyfriend Todd is a Christian and like her whole like cycle of wondering things about God, asking God about stuff, and, like, I don't, I don't want to ruin the book, so, like, it's really hard to explain it without, like, ruining it, but she, she is a Christian in this book, and it's a big cycle with Christianity, and that has been playing a part in my life a lot, um, while I was at school, I, I don't really believe that I was doing too well as a Christian. So that book was, it left me torn in a lot of places and I was really heartbroken with it. But I'm really glad I read it and I loved it. So I am going to start reading this book, which is The Forgotten Recipe by Amy Clipson, of course. Now this book seems to have many different characters because I see the name Seth, Veronica, I see Veronica twice, Jason, Veronica again. So I believe this this book's probably about at least three different characters. Seth, Veronica, and Jason. I did get a little bit of information about this. Um, something about that one of the characters brings something to Veronica. Or the girl. I don't know if that's the girl that she was talking about. And it's like this lotion. And I ended up getting the lotion from Amy Clipston from Bath and Body Works, which I'm excited to start using because I get to go back up to school. My mom was allergic to it. But yeah, I'm going to start reading this as soon as possible. And I don't cover up the whole cover. This, I will let you know how this goes if you're interested. I'm like fading out because I don't want to put the book down oh this is another series of hers it's called oh what is this series called the heart of the Lancaster Grand Hotel series and she did just complete the series I think this these like 
little covers are so beautiful. I wish I could do photography like that. I know I never will be able to, but they are so beautiful. So that's one of her books. Let's see. Oh, this is the Kaufman Bakery series. Kaufman Amish Bakery series. Um, also beautiful covers. They are amazing. And this is her memoir. This is also Amy Clipson on the cover here. So, my mom actually started reading this recently because I gave her the book to read. And I'm excited to see what my mom thinks about it. And that's... Yeah, these other ones are for this book. Or this book. Oh, and it looks like they're, the second book that's going to come out in this series is called The Courtship basket which that looks really pretty too so I really need to start getting I really need to start reading these I need to stop like filming and just start reading these books but anyways I'll keep you updated this series I believe is on sale now because this is it's an advanced readers copy but I believe this this is on sale because she did she just recently did a book signing for it so I believe it's on sale it should be. Yeah, I saw it in the store around me. It has to be on sale. So, go check this out. Let me know how you feel about this. And this whole series is amazing. So, read this series. Um, it starts with Roadside Assistant, Destination Unknown, and then um, Miles from Nowhere. All three books. One, two, and three. Amazing books. Go check them out. And let me know how you feel about Amy Clipson. And if you want to know any other books that I've either read and have opinions about or anything. So let me know. Thanks.